I think what you see in Babylon is a bigger shift in the industry, going from silent films to talkies was a seismic shift for the industry. It was, so people were still figuring it out. And what you see in Babylon is a, a version of filmmaking the way it used to be in that people were figuring it out as they went along. A lot of people were getting hurt. There was no regulations, no rules. And, and then at some point, movies became profitable. People started imposing kind of moral codes and and, you know, kind of pushing out the people who initially began the industry and, and, and controlling it. In Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's more about LA at the time in 1969, and there was a big shift around the time that Sharon Tate was murdered. There was kind of like this, this uh, shift in, in culture, and I think what followed in the 70s was just a diff very different era of filmmaking, I think for many different reasons. But uh, yeah, I, I would say, the, the shift that you see occur in the film industry in Babylon was just so much bigger on a technical level, I, I would say. Um, they're both massive cinephiles. They both love movies. Um, and they're both exceptionally talented. They're both generational talents. They're both auteurs. I actually think they have more in common than they don't have in common. But, uh, you know, every director I work with has a different style and a different process. Um, I wouldn't, I, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of smaller things. It's, it's more about like their process on set. But to be honest, as, as film lovers and filmmakers, they have a lot of things in common.